Good morning. Hi, it's Bruce. It's Saturday, June 6th, and I'm doing a Saturday blog. I uh, haven't been blogging in a while because we've had, I've had my nephew came in to visit. We've had other people from out of town going out for dinner, seeing a few shows. Uh, and stay tuned to the end of this blog where I have uh, quite a large announcement, I think, to make. So let me get and catch up with just a few things I've done before I do the one, uh, one longer review. Uh, a couple weeks ago, on a Monday, we saw the final performance of Things to Ruin, the songs of Joe Iconis. If you watch this blog, you've seen me review Things to Ruin last year when it was at the Zipper. I love Things to Ruin. I love Joe Iconis. Um, and what's wonderful is that Joe's actually become quite a good acquaintance of mine. I've gotten to meet him, and uh, he's been very, very nice. To Bill and I, uh, he's a big fan of Sideshow, which Bill wrote with Henry Krieger, and uh, I would say uh, Joe and I hit her up quite well, and I'm glad to have him as a friend. It was a great production again, this time it was at second stage, it was there only for like five performances. If it pops up again sometime, please go see Things to Ruin, the songs of Joe Iconis, because uh, we took, uh, there were 11 of us in our party. We're big Joe Iconis, uh, bring people in to see Joe Iconis and get to know him. And they all loved it. Let me just briefly mention the cast, because they'd like to be mentioned. And they are all the fantastic people. Nick Blameyer, Katrina Rose Diedrichsen, Bad Jafara, Sarah Glendening, Eric William Morris, Lance Rubin, and Jason Sweet Tooth Williams. <clears throat> and uh, Jason's become kind of an acquaintance of mine, too. Jason's sort of uh, Joe's alter ego. Sometimes I think they're joined at the hip. I see them together a lot. Sort of like Daisy and Violet in Sideshow, huh? Okay, the next thing I saw, which I saw in an early preview, and I told the director I wouldn't talk about it, but now it's open. It got good reviews, and it's next fall, which uh, is playing at the Peter J. Sharp Theater on 42nd Street. <clears throat> it's a production of Na Naked Angels and uh, theater company, and Jeffrey Knopf's wrote it. Jeffrey Knopf's is a wonderful actor. I think he's currently in Brothers and Sisters on television. And uh, this is his, uh, one of his uh, early attempts at playwriting. He's written some other things, but this is the first play of Jeffrey Knopf's that I've seen. The cast includes Patrick Breen, Maddie Corman, Sean Dugan, Patrick Husinger, <clears throat> Connie Ray, and Cotter Smith. This is a really good play. Uh, the subject matter, let me just preface this by saying Bill and I met 30 years ago and we had a lot in common. We've been together and we've had a lot in common and that makes the relationship somewhat easier. Relationships have their ups and downs. Uh, this is about a relationship, uh, two gay men, who have completely opposite backgrounds and opposite philosophies uh, and yet they fall in love. I think it's an intriguing premise, I think it's wonderfully done, and if you have a chance to see uh, next fall and uh, see Jeffrey Knopf's great writing and a great cast, uh, drop in on that. Uh, Cheryl Callard uh, brilliantly directed it, and she was working on it very hard, it was an early preview, and, uh, the, and, and I liked it then, so I guess the reviews uh, paid off and, and they're fine-tuning whatever they did. Mm and made it even better. So give uh, next fall a, a chance. Okay, um, I'll be back in a minute. All right, last weekend my nephew was in town, and my nephew, nephew makes it sound like he's a little boy, but he's uh, about 48, <laughs> and I'm, a, I'm an uncle. Uh, we went to see Ruins, because he loves to see uh, plays and dramas, and uh, Ruins is the Pulitzer Prize winner. I believe it won the uh, Outer Critics Award for Best Off Broadway Play, and it won the Drama Desk. Uh, it took uh, me quite a long time to get around to seeing Ruins, but I thought this was a perfect opportunity. What a great play! It's uh, by Lynn Nottage, and it deserves all its accolades. It's about. It's too hard to. <laughs> it's very hard to explain. It's a. Uh, a woman who runs a brothel in uh, what was the Congo in Africa, and uh, the young women who come to work for her. It's a 
as I said at intermission to my nephew, this may not turn out well for anyone. Uh, it's very dramatic. I, I won't even get into describing it except saying it's a brilliant piece of writing. It actually contains music and singing in it, uh, which is wonderfully done. And it's worth a visit if you... It's an intense drama. My one qualification is it, it has sort of an ending. It has, I don't want to call it a happy ending, but it has a nice and hopeful ending. Um, it almost seemed tack on because you almost couldn't believe anything could go right uh, with the drama of the, uh, the Congo. The government and the rebels and the people trying to uh, get by in between them and, and just live, just try to live as opposed to being hacked to death and murdered. So it's an intense subject matter, wonderfully acted, uh, and uh, go see it. That's all I can say. It's, it's probably the best play of the year, although I still... Uh, I still love Reasons to be Pretty so much. But boy, two different things. Reasons to be Pretty, God of Carnage also, some great plays this year. All right, uh, and here comes my announcement in a minute. Well, at this moment, Bill is out uh, directing um, some actors in a reading of his play, Elegies for Angels, Punks, and Raging Queens. He's doing a reading of it on uh, Tuesday. And uh, some people were interested in seeing that on stage, so he's, he's doing a reading with a great cast. I'll talk about that maybe next week. So I'm getting dressed and I'm going to go meet him for after his rehearsal, because we're going out to look for, and hopefully buy, if we find some, wedding rings! Ta-da! Bruce and Bill are getting married. Yes, he's making me an honest person. Uh, the wedding date is July 11th. Yes, July 11th. I had to think about that. Uh, there's a lot to be thought about. We're marrying in Connecticut in the, uh, at the home of our great friends in Connecticut. And we got our marriage license a couple weeks ago. And we're planning a small party. We're being married by a justice of the peace. And uh, we get the rings today. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, July 11th is the same week of our 30th anniversary, so we thought it was a good time to sort of make each other honest men. I'll, uh, I'm going to try to videotape some of this and uh, put myself on display. We might have a YouTube wedding. Anyway, I hope I'm just not too old to carry off white. And uh, uh, you'll hear more about this in the weeks to come. All right, have a great weekend. I'm going to go out and try to find something that fits this finger. Hi, I'm back. It's Saturday afternoon. I have a little coda, an addendum as it were to add. Uh, we got our wedding rings. They're being made. We found them in the uh, Diamond District on 47th Street near 5th Avenue. They're going to make them, have them ready next week. Uh, simple gold bands. I'm feeling like a groom. Uh, I also bought wedding shoes. White with purple laces. How gay is that? Also, fabulous, this morning I wake up and look out the window and there's this big regatta going up the Hudson. So I've got a tiny little clip of uh, all these tall ships and a little pirate ship. You can't see that it had sailed by. But uh, I'm having a great weekend. And tomorrow's the Tonys.